Hello everyone, today's video is how to adjust or remove the rear sight on the Steyr L9, M9, C9 series. Some people have some issues and I think it's due to two things. One, the set screw is pretty hard to remove. Steyr is using a lot of Loctite on it. And then, for what I've heard as well, is the sight is very tight in it. So there are a few things you need to do first. Because there is probably Loctite inside the set screw, you need to find yourself a very small screwdriver that goes inside the set screw and clean it up. When this is done, you need to find out on which side the sight is going to push out. 99% of the time, a sight will go out left, so in from the left. But we need to double check. So, we are using a micrometer. I like to use millimeter over inches, but the point is to find out which side is wider. So let's go with this side here on the right, and I push pretty hard and I find as much as I can, 7.03 millimeter. I will think it's a probably seven. And on this side here, Seven nineteen, so it's probably between seven fifteen and seven twenty, which means oh even seven twenty five seven thirty. What the heck? Okay, let's do that again. I might not be in the bottom bottom. Yeah, seven thirty. That's more like it. Again on this side here, seven, which means the left side is wider than the right side, which means we need to push that way, which it means is like the 99% of other guns. Okay, this set screw needs to come loose first. And this is a two millimeter. I have read in some places, people suggesting 1.5 millimeter. If you do use a 1.5 millimeter, you will strip this set screw. You are better off using a bigger one than a smaller one. And you will need also a set of Allen wrench. By the way, if you are using European guns, like Glocks, or CZ, or Steyr, they always use metric. So it is pretty nice to invest on a small set. Then, my handy dandy vice grip, which I will leave the uh, link on the bottom of the screen. And instead of removing the slide, I will keep it on the gun because I'm going to use the bottom of the gun to help secure everything. So here is the sight, everything is secure and I want to make sure the Allen wrench is setting in and it is setting in. So I'm going to help it a little bit with a hammer in case there is still some uh, uh, Loctite and gently force it. You do want to put some force into the Allen wrench here. You don't want to come out in an angle or you will strip the set screw. So when you think you manage and you put enough force to unscrew it, I suggest before you go any further, you screw it back in because that's done already. And again, and not only this area here is going to loosen up, but the entire thread is going to loosen up. So you do that a few times. And if by any chance you are pulling hard and it's not coming, try to push hard the other way. You might end up tying up the little bit the set screw, which is okay, because whatever amount you tie it up will become loose when you unscrew it. And so you put forces back into play. If it resists a little bit, back again. And again, don't forget to apply some force on the Allen here. But you want that part to be straight. As soon as it goes into an angle, it's gonna strip the set screw. So again, tie it up, loosen up. This become very easy. And you keep on going. Take your time, because the outcome will be a nightmare. There you go. Everything should come out fine. There. Okay, a little bit. There you go. 
I don't want really the set screw to come out because all I want to do is to move the sight a little bit to the right. My shooting, even at the rest, uh, set up the uh, point of impact a little bit to the left. And believe me, I've shot enough to know that I need to just move the trigger and so it's not me but the gun. Not bad anyway, but it can be a problem. Okay, the set screw is probably off the slide. So I remove my two millimeter Allen wrench. And now I'm going to use my vice pusher to move the, uh, the sight. So we have a situation and I might have found something. A shim that will support the slide a bit higher. Well, I cut my shim grossly. We'll see how it works. Okay. Well, having a narrow slide is not always easy. And on top of that, you have a trapezoidal sight. So it's not straight on the edge. So we'll see how it works out. Well, it's pushing the side out. As we can see here, it's, let's see, it's totally out of the slide. So it's working great. Now I have to put it back the way I want it to be. And it's sliding in and out beautifully. Really looks like the center is when the slide matches the sight. And I think I'm good. I should do that also at the range. So I'm going to take my portable side pusher and see if I need to adjust everything at the range. And I believe I am exactly where I want to be. But again, I will uh, take that side pusher with me. I am not going to tie up that screw until I'm all 100% sure that's where my aim uh, needs to be. You can have, you could have done all this with the uh, a punch, nylon punch or brass punch, but I have had the experience of damaging a little bit of the slide. The first day you get into guns, this is your second best investment. Because once you get a gun, you will never leave that rear sight alone. Never. You need to adjust it or you need to replace it. You will need a sight pusher. So get one as soon as you can. And don't say, oh, I only want that gun, one gun. No, you will never stop at one gun. And if it is the only gun you own, you're probably going to adjust or replace that rear sight. So after that, if I was going to be set, only if I'm happy with my sights, I will pull out that screw all the way out and put a little bit of Loctite on the thread or inside the hole and tie up that screw until it max out and remember this is a two millimeter screw oh well, i need to leave it alone right well guys until next time See you.